How's it going, YouTube? This is Dagonair here, and um, I'm going to do my first unboxing video of my new Blackhawk headset. Um, I previously had... You know to save the life of me? I don't even remember the name of this one, but it's also by Razer. Um, and uh, I absolutely love this one. Uh, if I ever remember the name of it, I will let you know in the comments below. But I had a small problem, is that in right here, um, the wire is becoming a little bit frayed, so I'm only getting one speaker sound in. So I figured I'll go ahead and get a new one. Um, so I'm going to try and open this up real quick. Uh, let me the packaging. It's pretty well sealed. It's kind of, you know, idiot proof, but I'm an idiot myself, so we'll see how it goes. Alright, so continuing on, um, this is what the inside of the box looks like. Um, from what you can see, um, you get your microphone here, which I'll go into greater detail. It's a very, very sleek, uh, black, and, uh, and it's like a semi to a high gloss black, which I really like. Um, makes it very, look very clean and, uh, Professional, in my opinion. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the bag here. Okay, so I've got it out of the box now. Here we go. Um, one of the things I want to point out is that, uh, and <coughs> I've tried these out. It worked really, really well. Um, probably a couple of my favorite features about this is um, the adjustability of them. Okay, you're just going to unscrew this little screw right here. It's got the Razer logo. And uh, you can adjust it to fit whatever it is that you like it to fit. And then you just tighten it down. Right there. Okay, so I just tighten it down. And it stays pretty well. Um, this one right here, I haven't really tightened down all that well. So, I'll just do that real quick. Get it set up. And then, okay, tighten that down. Cool. So, yeah, it stayed pretty well. They're pretty tight. Um, I really like the leather uh, around the ear, and one of the things I want to point out is like a big difference is that majority of these headphones, the old ones, is around, and so when you got, let's see if you can get it, my ear is not like round, it's more of a oval shape, so when it goes around it, it kind of constricts the top and the bottom down like this, but when I put these on, it fits my ear perfectly nice and snug. My ear actually goes on the inside of this right here. Let's see if I can get this right. On the inside right here, uh, my ear lobe, and uh, it just rests nice and comfy inside there. Um, so I'll put it on, right, so you can see. And uh, this just comes down nice and is a good distance from my face. I can uh, adjust it to fit accordingly. And I'm going to see if this camera will readjust the light here or if I need to yeah anyway I'll just have to fix that a little later but um yeah so this thing adjusts pretty well um as far I mean you can do a 90 degree angle if you want to you can have this thing pointing right at your face and whatnot I'm gonna try and see if this camera will autofocus again um on autofocus check Auto focus done. Pull away. And readjust the light here. Oh well, I don't know why it's not doing it. Maybe I should back up. Maybe it'll pick it up. Anyway, so I really like that feature. And uh, another thing, which I haven't pointed out yet, is this headpiece actually, or the microphone actually comes off. Just a nice little pull. I mean, I could do that with two fingers here. So, and pull. Okay, and it's got this little headphone jack in there, right there, and uh, there's the little headphone piece that goes in. So say that you just want a pair of headphones, they give you this little um, cap that goes in place with that, and then boom, now you have just some headphones that you can rock around with, and you can take your iPhone and plug it in, and I will... I'm playing some music right now, some uh, Family Force 5.
right there. So yeah, um, sounds pretty good. Uh, I was listening to some dub stuff earlier, and I really liked that. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to put the microphone back in here. And I'm just going to show you again. It's real easy to do. Just go ahead and put it in. Oh, wait. Uh, yes, one thing to note is that there are um, some little grooves on the tops and the bottom of this thing, as well as on here. Uh, let's see if I can get that right there. So one, there's another. You're going to be looking for that groove right there and get it lined up um, in the right spot. That way it can turn properly. So they give you this right here, which is their nice green cable. So you can use for your MP3 player, iPhone, uh, Android, um, and not have it be super long to where it just looks ridiculous. Um, and then they also give you, what do I do with it? I'm not going to think about what I do with it. Hmm. Strange. Well, they give you a splitter piece to um, hook into the computer. What the crap did I do with the splitter? Ah, here it is. So they give you a splitter right here. Okay. So you can plug it in your computer. You have your sound and your microphone. And then at the very end of it, plugs in. So there's no volume control or mute button uh, for it. So you're going to have to preset your computer to the correct sound that you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug these in here. Just like that. And I'm going to do a volume test or a mic test uh, so you guys can see the difference. Alright, so this is going to be my test of the microphone at a couple of different distances. First, I'm going to put it way off to the side here so you can uh, see how well it picks up. Uh, if at all, I haven't actually heard it from here. Um, and my my lighting is fixed. This is awesome. Uh, now directly straight it in front of me here. Uh, so, um, like I said, this fits really nice and snug on my ears. It's nice and taut on my head. It's very comfortable. Um, if I would need to do any adjustments, it's very good. Uh, so I'm gonna move this in just a little bit closer, uh, so you can see it's not too close to my face but it's a little bit closer and to be honest I have a fan going right now which is pretty l not pretty loud but I mean it's decently loud uh, which you may be able to hear on the microphone but um I can barely hear it's just like a slight whisper or a blowing of the wind uh, with these headphones on so I'm gonna move it out and I'm gonna move the microphone in here just like that and uh, I really like this this is like a helicopter style headset um, overall, I've tested it out on uh, Daisy. Uh, I've listened to some dubstep and uh, a couple of other things. It does really well on the bass. Uh, the treble and mids uh, a little weak, but you know, for me, I'm okay with that because I'm very big on dubstep and bass and things like that. So overall, um, f as far as the uh, the Black Shark goes and my overall rating of it, um, I'd give it. I give it an, uh, an 8 out of 10. Um, and the two things that take away those two stars from this are not having the um, where is it the volume and mute control like uh, other headphones have. I really really like that. It was really nice just to be able to mute the mic when I had a phone call or something like that. Um, and the other thing that I'm a little bit bummed about but uh, it's not the biggest deal is some of the sound quality on it but I mean it's not the biggest thing so maybe eight and a half I give it an eight and a half so I hope uh, you guys like this I would highly recommend it I paid like 120 for this and uh, it was worth every penny so hope to see you guys on day Z watch some more of my other videos and uh, have a good one